what is good guys union sneakers back with another video today we're gonna be looking at something again a little bit different we're not looking at shoes but we are looking at some designer hyped goods i would say so myself um so here's the box okay i actually took out the um took it took out the product as i would say already <laughs> Um, let's look at the box first. You got this, uh, Gucci, eh? We got this Gucci box. It's decently big, you know, so not, not shoes big, but, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty big for something of that size, what we're getting. So it's black on the, on the sides there, and on the back, it's all around, and then you have this, like, bag thing. These little thingies go through this so you can actually hold it and like that's how you hold it and it's like the same thing all around. So that's pretty cool, huh? Then you open it up. We got this little uh, magnetic um, closing uh, thingy, my bobber. And we got this Gucci dust bag. Oh wow, isn't that a surprise? That's pretty dope, huh? Um, anyways, we got this Gucci dust bag. Then we have this little Gucci, um, if you can see, it's right over there. I don't know if y'all will be able to see. I don't think y'all will be able to see. Anyways, we got this little Gucci, uh, we got the receipt inside. I'll show y'all the receipt here. Um... There's the price of our item today. If y'all can see. I think y'all could. Anyways. So that's pretty cool. It's from Gucci right there. You already see. Okay, okay. Alright. Alrighty, boy. So what can we have today? Y'all might be wondering. I'm sure y'all have seen by the title. And by the thumbnail what it is today we are looking at the gucci um b classic b hat okay let's just call it that okay so how i actually got this hat the story with this hat i got it um used i got it after a market obviously i mean come on would you justify paying 470 for a hat i don't think anyone would so i definitely got it you know under that price, I think I got it for quite the good price. And it's my third piece of Gucci. I will be doing more Gucci reviews um, in the future for sure. And I'll show you all my Gucci items, okay? This was my first ever Gucci item, okay? Um, so yeah, let's take a look at this hat. So at the front, obviously, we got the B, the infamous Gucci B. This B uh, looks pretty cool. It looks very mad. Like, it, it looks very aggressive, you know? Um, so it's a pretty cool B. Okay, we got this GG print all around the hat. Right there, even on the little uh, top bubber. But on the back, it's this mesh. But it's not the cheap mesh. It feels very expensive, I would say. On the inside, we got that right there. Pretty dope. Oh, Gucci tag. Uh, the back clip, the back like um, thingy to adjust the hat is made out of leather right here. Has this little um, Gucci, I don't know if it's gold. I don't think it's gold. It's just like colored some with that thingy, that metal part. You get the Gucci, uh, you know, colored strip. And this part is leather as well. Okay. So that's the strap. And on the inside, also, it says Gucci. I don't know if y'all can tell. Yeah, y'all definitely won't be able to tell or see. But on that button, it does say Gucci as well. And this inside material right here has this like canvas feel. Not the mesh, not the mesh right here. This part, I like this canvas feel because obviously, you know, the front of the hat. That's how it's made. The one thing I absolutely hate. Okay, we get the size right there. We get the size. If y'all didn't know, Gucci hats do come in stupid sti uh, stupid sizes. Um, it's not, you know... I don't know how hats are, really. I mean, it's just one size, is it not? You can adjust it, no? 
this is a large, but it fits me, you know, good. But obviously, I can adjust it. So I don't know why would it be small or, or big. You know what I mean? Like I would be able to adjust it. My worst part about this hat. I don't know if y'all saw. Let me do that again. Oh, what is that? That's these little uh, things. I don't want to cut them off because I know value will fall because I kind of breaking the hat, I would say. But um, I'm not really breaking it. But I mean, you know, this part is annoying as heck. It's the little Gucci tag and it hangs right off. So when you, when I put on my hat backwards or even forwards, i got to make sure to go like this and go like that fast or else you're going to have this thing on the side of your hat hanging. Okay, so let's talk about, is this worth it? Is this worth $470? I would say absolutely not. And the reason that is all designer goods, all usually high-valued items, not limited, just high-priced, high-valued items. The depreciation on those items is extreme. If you buy a Balenciaga pair of shoes for 1300 whatever, do not expect to get anything over um, about like 600 even 500 at times. Like 500 that's what you'll be selling the shoe. You're losing like $700. Do you really want to wear the shoe and sell it? If you're 100% certain you're going to keep the item, then, you know, that's fine. But don't expect to sell it later and get, you know, you will get some money back, obviously. But don't expect anything to close to what you paid. You will be losing insanely heavy amounts of money. Okay. The price I got this hat for, uh, if you guys are interested, uh, you can, uh, you know, ask in the, in the comments below. But I got it for a steal. I got it for a very well-priced amount. Okay. So that's why I justified getting the hat. At retail price, I certainly don't think this hat is worth it. It is a very good hat. It's a very good quality hat. You you can feel it, you know, by the tags, by the little leather back thing, by the Gucci, you know, thing, by all the GG print, everything on the hat. You can definitely tell this is a, you know, high quality product. But I in no world would say this is worth it at least for a hat it's like buying balenciaga socks they're 150 dollars would you really see that worth it and a smart decision i don't even wear high socks like high like ankle calf socks whatever they're called i don't wear socks like that i wear ankle socks all the time i never wear high socks and buying a sock that is 150 dollars i have a pair and i can show you guys in a future video uh, but I got that thing as a gift. So it, you know, I didn't buy it. I didn't pay $150. And that's ridiculous. You know what I mean? When we're looking at, you know, shoes, pants, and tops, like jackets, whatever, right? Those items, those specific items, they are like main items. They're the main part of your fit. A hat will, you know, make your fit a little bit better. Right? It's an accessory, just like a bag. If you guys haven't seen the video on the hair and press and camera side bag I did, check that out too. It's just an accessory, but it's a useful accessory unlike this. I mean, yeah, it protects you from the sun, whatever. No one uses it like that. But anyways, guys, this is an open decision question. You guys decide for yourself, man. Is, is, again, you guys, you guys decide for yourselves. Is it worth it for you or not? You know, do you have that financial financial step stability to, to, you know, afford an item like this? That is not even a main part of an outfit, okay? Just an accessory. Again, guys, leave all your comments down below. Suggestions, what I want, why, what you guys want me to film next. You want a sneaker collection, a closet tour, whatever, all my accessory collection, whatever. Leave it down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video... Pop a like, new channel, always growing. You guys already know, support the local, support the, you know, small businesses, small channels, everything like that. Um, and yeah, just thank you guys for watching. Subscribe again if you guys are new. And thank you guys for watching.